The race for the leader of the House of Representatives is getting hotter as lawmakers, both old and new, count down to the June the 13th inauguration. Those interested in various leadership positions have been speaking with colleagues and party men to improve their chances of clinching key seats in the National Assembly. Just like uh, the Senate, members of the House of Representatives are intensifying moves to see that their preferred candidates emerge. Still in our Abuja studio to discuss this is member-elect Kwano Umwahia North, Umwahia South, federal constituency of Abia State under the Labour Party, Honorable Obi Agwacha. Thank you for still staying with us. See, LP for life. I'm sure you can <laughs> see it here, LP for life. <laughs> Interesting. Right. He said LP for life. <laughs> yes. Now... This matter of uh, the race for the speakership, uh, talk to us how it is going. Although uh, we've gotten some reactions from uh, the, uh, the uh, Ohaneze talking about the leadership of the um, Senate, saying that uh, zoning deputy speaker to the southeast is disgusting. We'd like to get your perspective on that before we move on to the speakership race. Well, well uh, first of all, um uh, uh, sort of, uh, first of all, it's important to understand that uh, based on international best uh, practices all over the world, uh, the, majority, the party in the majority is often allowed to produce the presiding officers. In the case of the House of Representatives, the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker. Uh, as of today, APC forms the majority. Uh, uh, when you look at it from an individual political party, uh, but when you look at it collectively, the minority have actually formed a greater ma uh, majority. We have more numbers in the minority when you combine PDP, Labour Party, NMPP, APGA, and other parties otherwise minded. But we have also considered that based on international best practices, that APC should be able uh, to produce the presiding officers. In this current 10th Assembly, in their own wisdom, APC has zoned the offices. Uh, in the Senate, they preferred Senator Quabio from South South and somebody else from the North. In the House of Representatives, they preferred uh, Tajuddin Abbas, Dr. Tajuddin Abbas and Barrister Ben Carlo from the Southeast. Now, this is APC's decision. I applaud APC for at least bringing the Southeast to the presiding table. In this wise, Deputy Speaker, if they give us the Senate presidents, we will also take. But for today, the reality on ground is that in the zoning arrangement, we have a Southeasterner uh, to take over the mantle of the deputy speaker. So I would have thought, or Hanese, uh, representing the collective interest of Ndibu, should have been most grateful, should have been, uh, should have been happier to say at least that the Southeasterners are on the table, uh, especially when you look at uh, the votes coming from Southeast to APC. Uh, was absolutely nothing compared to the votes coming from the South East to Labour Party. But having said that, it is most important for us to look, in this day and age of P2B, to be able to look at people who have competence, people who have experience, people who have the experiential intellectual capacity, uh, people who have an understanding of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the House rules, to be able to preside and to bring stability in the, in the House of uh, Representatives. Somebody who also will be willing to work with the administration for the betterment of all Nigerians. APC in their wisdom have selected these people and have yet to see anybody, despite the zoning, to say that the capacity of these people should be impeached. Nobody has impeached their character. Nobody has impeached their, their understanding of the law. After all, the, 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 the basic thing for, uh, for a lawmaker is, is to make law. Then you have representation, and then you have constituency. But the, uh, the number one important 
is making law. And for me, as a, as a labor person, as an individual, we have seen many candidates in the wise of uh, for the speaker position and the deputy speaker position. Uh, for me, I believe that um, I believe that Tajuddin Abbas is the best person uh, to be given the mantle of the leadership of the House of Representatives uh, and to bring the needed stability and to bring the needed competence that is uh, required right now to move to move this country forward. Like I said, the last election propelled by the awareness created by P2B meant that Nigeria has become aware and Nigerians are becoming too sensitive about issues of governance. And if we are unable to deliver, we are unable to deliver, then it will be catastrophic not just for us but for the entire Nigerians. So the House of Representatives is geared up now to have effective leadership that will not take us into into uh, doing uh, wonderful things for Nigerians. Like I said in the previous uh, segment, Nigerians have suffered. They keep suffering on a daily basis. Insecurity, unemployment, not having adequate hospital uh, facilities, not having, uh, uh, we have dilapidated infrastructure, uh, dilapidated educational system. These things, need to, these, these things need to come together to work. And the only way we will get it to work is not by having an activist National Assembly, uh, but to have a proactive National Assembly that will work for the common interest and good of, of all Nigerians. It's very interesting for you to say that the, 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 the people in the North Central, they are saying that they want the speaker. People like Wase, Gagdi, and Co. saying that they want, they want the, the speakership position. The South is, has not had speaker for the last 40 years. Yes, the yes, South yes. Is no Southeasterner that has become speaker of the Federal House of Representatives in the last 40 years. Uh, so yes, if not, we begin to microzone it, to say, well, this person has not had it, this person has not had it. The most important yes. thing is that who is going to have it? What is the vision of that person who is going to have it? How is the person going to, uh, you know, rise all, all, all persons to be focused uh, in national development. That is what, you know, most important. Then when we begin to, uh, begin to agitate, well, North Central have not had it. Well, I could say Southeast have not had it as well. But in due time, I'm sure this thing has a way of going around. But for today, for today, the APC in their wisdom have selected a very fine gentleman, two gentlemen, one uh, for speaker and the other for deputy speaker, and the one for the deputy speaker is my brother. He's from the Southeast. I'm only too happy that in any discussions that will happen in this current National Assembly, the 10th National Assembly, a Southeasterner will be on the presiding table uh, to also, uh, you know, help us get what that, we have to take for national you development mean, for the Southeast. Are you saying that Abbas is not your brother? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not just because he's my brother. He helps that he's my brother. Calling well, your it brother. also helps that he's a man of integrity, that he's a man of integrity, that he's a man that has uh, efficiency, that he's a man that, that understands lawmaking, and that he's a man that understands nation building. So it's good that we, you know, we put all those things together. Uh, it, it doesn't matter that he's my brother. Well, even if he was not my brother, Tajuddin Abbas is not my brother. He's my brother by coloration of we are all Nigerians. He's not an Igbo man. But... I believe he has the right temperament. I believe he has the competence to, to be able to do the work of speaker. Right. So we hope and expect to see a vibrant 10th uh, uh, National Assembly, be it at the, the Senate. The 10th National Assembly the House of Representatives. is going to be, it's not going to be the same as where the other uh, ninth Assembly or 8th or 7th right. or 6th Assembly. The, the right. people who have come to the 10th Assembly come with different backgrounds. The different experiences okay. and different okay. outlooks in, insofar as national uh, politics is concerned. But one thing that I like about this 10th Assembly is in each Quickly, and every one of them, regardless whether they come from Sokoto or they come from Abia, they have a sense of responsibility, a sense right. of obligation to do the work for Nigeria once and for all. All right, and that's a fine place to leave the conversation. We must uh, thank you, Honorable Obi Agwacha, 
uh, his uh, member elect, Ikwano Umwahia North, Umwahia South Federal Constituency of Abia State, on the Labour Party. We must thank you for your time on the program. And we must thank you, columnist Samo Mache, for joining us this morning. It Very is good, good to have you. Thank you.